Welcome into another playoff edition of Football Frenzy. I'm AJ Feldman. She's Rachel Liberts. The sectional quarterfinals last week were maybe the craziest in history with Rush Henrietta knocking off top-seeded Fairport in double A and Brockport stunning East in Class A. Those brackets stayed wild tonight, but we will start with Class B. It kicked into full gear tonight with a thriller between Eastridge and HFL. These two teams split in the regular season. The Lancers winning in triple OT the second time. Tied at seven at the half, chaos breaks out. Dwayne Collins returns the second half kickoff, 72 yards for a touchdown for a seven point lead. But on the next kickoff, Grady Gouberle says, I can do that too. 90 yards to the house, back to back kickoff touchdowns were tied up at 14. Same score started the force. Christian Beeson gets a big old hole and runs on through it. 43 yards to Paydirt. Eastridge takes a 21 14 lead. But the Cougars march right down the field. Owen Engelt takes the handoff, bullies his way in for the score. We are all tied up again. Two minutes to play. HFL goes on a drive to the red zone. Ezra Gathercole clutch 27 yard go ahead field goal. So the Lancers need to answer. Benny Calixto steps up, finds Miles Hallman, and the Lancers are across midfield. But the drive would stop. Fourth down, seven seconds left from the 33. Calixto lets it fly, and Collins goes up and gets the Hail Mary winner. Eastridge takes it 27-24. They are on to the Class B title game. Now, let's go to our Cinderella stories. Eight-seeded RH taking on U-Prep in double-A. Scoreless in the first half, U-Prep at the goal line, but the Royal Comets stop the sneak on fourth down. Jaden Peters rips them off the line, and they stand. Still no score. 40 seconds left in the half. Brendan Mangoni lobs it up to Imani Wagstaff Jr. RH up seven zip at the break. First drive of the third. U Prep looking to punch it in again. This time the toss to CJ Robinson. Breaking tackles, dives to the pylon. We're all square at seven each. Later in the third, RH back in the red zone. Mangoni to Wagstaff Jr. Makes a couple men miss. In for the touchdown, and the eight seed takes the lead 13 7. Two minutes to play. Last chance for the Griffins. Fourth and long at midfield. The heave. He's directing traffic. He needs a prayer. Prayer denied. Jaquin Brown knocks it down. The Cinderella Royal Comets are moving on. They knock off U Prep 13 to 7. Now over to Class A. Cannon Dagua hosting Brockport Blue Devils, hoping their magic continues as well. Second quarter, Cannon Dagua trailing 7 to 6, but not for long. Drew Willamy dropping back, heaves it up to Nathan Brinza, finds him in the back of the end zone. A Gray Wolves now up 12 7. Still in the second, Willamy again. Puts it up looking for Caden Gullis and he finds him, takes it to the house. Canandaigua now with the 20 to 7 lead. Just before half, Willamy does it again. Quick pass off to Brinza. He powers his way to the end zone. Gray Wolves leave at 26 to 7 at the half. They go on to take the win 33 to 14. What a run for Brockport though. Let's go back to double A. McQuaid and Aquinas. The Knights have won the last nine in the rivalry series. Scoreless in the first on four. Fourth down, Jeffrey Logan the third. Off tackle for the score, Lil Irish up seven zip. Same score, third quarter now. Knights fourth and goal. The overthrow picked off by Trent Buttles, Aquinas' QB. That makes it still 7-0. Fourth quarter, Knights back in the red zone. Will DeMarco says, I'm going to do it myself this time. But he was flagged for a penalty on that spin. PAT no good after it was pushed back, so Aquinas still up one. Three minutes to play, trying to run out the clock, but Darian Battle says, I can do a whole lot more than that. A fantastic 56-yard touchdown. That makes it 14-6. to So we're still a one-score game. McQuaid, they've come back all season long looking for some of that cardiac night magic. But Buttles calls game, takes the interception to the house. McQuaid's reign of terror is over. The five-time champs dethroned. Aquinas wins 21-6. They'll get RH in the title game. Back on over to Class B. Undefeated Batavia hosting Rochester Prep. In the first quarter, Rochester Prep punting it away. Carter Mullen back to return. He gets the ball first. Jukes out the defender to start the run. 
cuts left, then nope, cuts back inside. Another defender misses, and he is off. Nothing but open space in front of him. A 69-yard return to the end zone gets Batavia on the board. They lead 8-zip. Still in the first, Rogs Buholtz fakes the handoff, finds a wide open Jamison Motika for the score and for the 14 to nothing lead. Blue Devils put up 55-0 in the half. They take it 56 to six and will get Eastridge in the title. In Class D, Avon trying to keep their perfect season alive as they host Canisteo Greenwood. First drive of the game, Cal Dolges keeps it outside and brings the boom. Delivering some big justice, 6-0 Riverhawks in front. Next time down the field, it's Wes Farley, the other half of their two-headed monster. The walk-in score, Avon goes up 12-zip. Second quarter now, it's fourth and goal. And no, and who else? Dolgis, the stiff arm in for the score. Just some disrespectful football in the most respectful way possible. Avon wins 31-3. They'll get Alexander in the Class D title game. And finally, in the Wayne Finger Lakes Independent League, Palmac hosting Lions Sotis in the semis. Palmac with a 20 to nothing lead in the third, but the Lions looking to get something started. Marcus Asbury pass to Contrell Parker Jr. Cuts inside, makes the defender miss, and he is off down the sideline takes it to the house for the touchdown closes the gap 20 to 6 in the fourth Lions have the momentum Asbury drops back deep ball looking towards the end zone and Parker goes up for that unbelievable one-handed grab for the touchdown it's now 20 to 12 Lions with the chance to close it in ball goes up and it's picked off by Anthony Porpora he seals the game Palmac hangs on for the 20 to 12 win they'll play undefeated Pena and Dundee in the league title game next week coming up after the break the Amherst are back at home and put their five game winning streak on the line we'll have those highlights next but first here's some more section 5 football and championship girls volleyball scores Coming up next week on Football Frenzy, it's sectional championship weekend. Six games, six bricks on the line, and we've got you covered with wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Friday, it's the Class AA Final, Aquinas and the Cinderella Royal Comets, plus the eight-man final, Wayne Finger Lakes. And Saturday, we've got four games, and we'll have coverage all throughout Football Frenzy. For Rachel Leibert, I'm AJ Fellman. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have more playoff coverage tomorrow, and we will see you next time.